Hello fellow photographers and welcome to another tutorial where I'll be talking about how to maintain sharpness and quality in your images and avoid banding even after you throw them on Facebook. To begin with, let me explain why this is even an issue and why a lot of people use this as a silly excuse for everything wrong with their image. When you upload a photo to Facebook, what Facebook will do is try to compress the image or shrink the image so it fits with what Facebook wants which is okay, it's their house, but this can have an unfortunate effect on some things. Let me really clarify this. Some things are affected, and this is sharpness because of the pixel count being reduced and the numbers of colors available to see that will create banding. The number of colors available basically means that the image will not look as smooth when it comes to very slow transitions between fragrance of colors and brightness. So when you have something like a blank sky or a portrait background, instead of this subtle effect, you end up with banding. This is when you can see where the colors change to another fragrance, and this leaves us with bands of color. A typical way to get this is working in Photoshop in a low bit mode, also known as fewer colors, and then making a gradient mask on, for example, a curves layer. But sometimes all it needs is to merge all visible layers. How do we do this? Okay, are you sitting down? You should sit down. Here it comes. By pressing Command or Control plus Shift plus Alt plus E. Whew. Life is hard for a photographer, huh? Often it will fix that curves layer and add it to the mix. If this doesn't work, try adding noise to only the background, just a little bit. You can nudge it up back and forth until it looks not that weird. This can be done by adding a dodge and burn layer, then filter noise, add noise, and then make an inverted mask and brush out anything unimportant. Should fix some banding before it gets worse after the Facebook compression. Now, when it comes to sharpness, it's pretty straightforward. Don't go crazy with sharpness when it's going to be uploaded to Facebook. Something like hair can really start to get some artifacts, which is a better word for stuff that happens and makes your picture look bad and you have no idea why. It can look great in Photoshop when you sharpen hair to the max, but be careful as the Facebook compression will make it look weird and choppy. Last, but very important, save for web. Save it in a full quality version and a Facebook quality version. Facebook quality means that it should be 2048 pixels on its widest edge and only at 60% quality, that's all it needs. Then Facebook won't try to compress it too much as it's already compressed by Photoshop, which has much better software to do it. Now, if you upload a 5000 pixel wide image to Facebook and it's a picture of your cute dog, then it probably won't matter how much you think about all of these things. But when it comes to a portrait with hair, eyelashes, lip texture and background transitions, this will definitely make your image a lot better. That's it for now. Let me know in the comments what you would like to hear about next time. And don't forget to drop by imagineportraits.com and see my other videos and check schedules for workshops on the east coast of USA. Until next time.